there's a really annoying moment where have I come too far? Will it even work? I have no idea if I'm doing this for, pointlessly. Just a little reminder, hi, I'm Vicky, the Cobbner's daughter, because I haven't done a proper project for a long time. The reason for that is, yes, we're still on the narrow boat. That means the first house sale didn't go through. We are in the middle of things still. We don't plan on being on here forever. But I keep convincing myself that you don't want to watch any DIY project on this boat. Let me know if that is just all in my head and completely made up. But one thing that my husband has convinced us to do, put a lifting mechanism under this bed because a lot of my tools are under here and under the sofa and they're very difficult to get to. Watch this. In a perfect world, I'd be able to lift this mattress and access things, but this is what happens. Oh, I didn't do too bad there. <laughs> but it's really heavy, it's not ideal. Then I would have to somehow keep it propped up, then lift these panels, but it's really a two-man job and then it's awkward. So I need to make it easier. This is not easy enough. So before I talk you through the plan I've got in mind, let's remove this mattress so you can understand what's uh, gonna happen or hopefully gonna happen and how much of a struggle it is. Oh, Jesus. I need to shut you out because I've got to close this door. And I need some help. And there's boat going past. I just want to quickly point out, this is probably one of the main reasons I've not been doing DIY in this boat, is because this is roughly about six foot wide. We've got a four foot mattress. And it's trying to figure out where we're going to squeeze it in while we do the, this work in here. So yeah, it's going to be blooming tight. And I've got to try and get it through the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> And my foot's caught. Okay, so the mattress is gone. I've now got to remove this membrane piece of material that's here to allow the mattress to breathe. So let's remove that. So this is what we have. So unlike a usual bed, this doesn't have slats under the mattress. Instead, it's got four compartments of MDF that lift up so you can access storage underneath. Now these ones are for the drawers. We've got three drawers clothes and one at the end to access the portaloo and then these ones at the back which is uh, the main storage so i've got some tools there but there's a lot of dead space that's not being used because it's just a pain in the backside to get to them so to work around it we've gone on amazon and bought two of these lifting mechanisms that come with gas struts now i've no idea if this is going to work we've already tried fitting these together and pushing it by hand it did not move but i have seen on youtube that you need the force above it and i'm going to do something you might not agree with i'm going to bodge it a little bit and try and use what i've got by joining them all together with some really really heavy duty jointing plates it's not something i really want to do but if it saves me buying extra material trying to awkwardly walk it down a towpath, get it in here because the doors are small, then um, we'll try this first. If it doesn't work, we'll have to go down that route of replacing this with one solid sheet. Now, the main concern, I'm not entirely sure this is going to work, is by the time you've put all the plates on and the screws are in MDF, which isn't the strongest, we may have to actually bolt them through. So first things first, we'll remove the panels to see what access we've got. So we've got our bracket and we need to mount it um, to this stud work, but it's a bit deeper than this 40 mil, 44 mil stud. So we're going to have to put another piece underneath here, which might actually have to be lower than that. That's what we're going to work out. And then we can mount the bottom part to that and then have this attached to the top piece and that can move up. And the other thing is this is a little bit too long, a bit about an inch too long. So I'm probably gonna have to try and shave a bit of wood off the stud here. I don't want to um, angle grind this bit off. I may as well try and keep as much strength as possible because there's gonna be a lot of weight being lifted on and off. Roughly about there, that'll have to be a bit lowered. Um, and then if that's bottom bit is staying in place, then we can lift that. So I think that's the first thing to do is cut a piece for here and one for the other side, 70 and a half centimetres. So I've got a 44 millimetre squared uh, stud, 
from B&Q, which was flipping expensive. I can't believe how expensive wood is these days, but I bought that so I didn't have to plane anything down, go and look for more tools so I can get it all flush here. But um, I've just noticed we won't have to plane anything off because this gap here is, is a little bit bigger than 44 mil. So we'll be able to slot it in hopefully nicely. Let's just check this side as well. So uh, yeah, it, this is half a centimetre shorter. Oh, it is 44. So um, yeah, we'll probably have to shave a little bit off the, on this side. I've got some friends. Check out my patrons wanting an early exclusive preview. <laughs> right, let's test it. We'll have the, uh, the manufactured cut on that side. Yeah. Right, I've slotted it in. What I'm going to do is just put one screw in there and one screw in there. Well, pilot hold it first and we'll try and have a play with it. I don't want to put loads of screw holes in first in case it makes them weak and we find out it's not right. There's a screwdriver under here if you can't see. Right, we've uh, come across our first hurdle. While it's in situ, the bracket definitely won't slot in. We've tried to unscrew this to move it. The head is either ruined, we just can't get to it. So I've had to take it out. If I had some chisels, that would be easier to uh, cut a notch out. We're good. That's what we're going to have to do is cut a notch out. I'm going to have to try just do a series of cuts with the jigsaw. This is not going to be fun. And if I had some clamps, that'd be even better. After cutting a notch out, I was able to slot it in and conveniently the original screw hole also went through the bracket screw hole while in situ. Okay, so the screw is in that one at the end. Obviously, I don't, I shouldn't have this top too high up otherwise the bed won't lay flat. I don't think it matters too much that this isn't perfectly level, but we'll put a couple of screws in and see if we need to adjust anything. I'm repeating the same for the opposite side. I'm going to have to get under, put a compartment in, make sure it's all lined up, but I'm going to need a torch and probably pass you over to my camera phone. This, is this the right one? <laughs> Then I drilled and temporarily screwed from underneath to mount the tops. Again, repeat for the other side. Right, this is where I don't know if it's going to work out. We're going to fix them with plates, as you know, and I've decided, well, I thought I could go that way, but I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to try two, and if that's not good enough, I'm, I'm leaving this gap here to put another one and going that way. But hopefully with enough screws all the way on the outsides, it will be strong enough. The pressure will be evenly distributed and we need to save enough to mount to the other ones if needed. And I don't want to open it into another packet because that's another 18 pounds. And then you may as well have just bought a sheet of material. So we'll try this. And if they rip out, we could try and bolt them later, but they'll have to be the other way because we've got stud work here. There's ways around it, hopefully. Low torque it is. Well, I hope this works. Let's give it a go. Please work. I'm going to stand up. Second hurdle. This trim stops it. So I'm going to have to trim a little bit off in this corner and I might just try and get a little multi tool. I'm not taking it apart. I'm going to just do that in situ. Now it fully opened, we started adding the struts on. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm undoing these so I can put the gas strut on. Let's test it. No, no. <laughs> oh my God! I can feel something trying to happen. There's no chance. We're about to go on YouTube just to see how we can get these down. We found one video to say these should be the other way around, although we did see another video the other day that had it this position. So that's the first thing we're going to try. Right, I don't get up. We've managed to get it down with brute force. It felt like we were going to break it. 
even if it was one solid piece of wood, it still would have bowed in the middle. And to be honest, it might have been better for an arrow bed, but we can't lift it this way. These are in the way. So if I get up, this is probably gonna come up. And I'm hoping after a few attempts, it'll be fine. Yeah, hopefully it will stay down with the weight of a mattress. Right, watch what happens when I get up. Please stay. Wow. <laughs> right, let me try it again. Oh, you're gone. No, it's a two-man job. Oh, this is not cool. After successfully getting it down again, eventually, I marked where I needed to trim down the next panel to avoid the trim blocking it. This is a really annoying moment where have I come too far? Will it even work? I have no idea if I'm doing this for pointlessly. <laughs> so the next panel, this time I trim with my jigsaw out on the towpath. At least my workshop's got a lovely view. Then work on screwing down the remaining joining plates. The next test, I'm going to get off and hopefully this extra weight will keep it down. And these uh, plates aren't that light. And if that doesn't work, hopefully the mattress will be even enough, especially when we put pressure on. And then we need to work out how we're going to put some handles on. Oh, that's not coming up at all. That's a good sign. Right, let's try and push it from under here. Wow. <laughs> Oh no, not this again. Oh. I've uh, gone round and added more screws to the brackets, but what I've done as an extra precaution, I've gone round as well, drilled holes, and replaced the screws for the top for bolts right far back. Obviously I needed a helping hand for someone to hold the bolts while um, I was holding the nuts underneath, but what I think I want to do, and I've run out, is I want to add some to these uh, metal plates as well. Because it's just MDF, and I think over time they're going to come out. And because it was so hard to push down, we've had to take one of the struts out, and it's holding its own weight as well. So I'm glad that's sorted. But yeah, I really want to put some bolts on these. Jesus! There you go, the mattress is back just like magic. Will it lift it? I would have thought so. We've got some rope just put here. Oh my God. <laughs> it, I'm actually all right with that. Once we get some more bolts, then we, we might have a go at putting the other strut back on to see how it goes. But at the moment, I'm not messing about. I want to go to sleep. We just need some bolts. We need loads of bolts. Oh. So it's been about a week since we've done anything to the bed and now I have bought some more nuts and bolts. But going back over the footage just to see what I filmed last, where I was up to, I don't really like this um, slight bow here. Um, so I really want to change the configuration of the metal plates, have a look at them. And um, it might not really be an issue because the weight, even the weight of the, the mattress um, will be okay. Especially when you're sleeping on it, you've got all of these battens, it's not going to create a problem. But because we've only got one strut attached as well, gas strut, I think really we should be pushing it down only from this end and not that end. I also kind of want to see what it's like with the gas strut on the other one as well. Now we've got the weight of the mattress. And I've got a feeling this is a little bit tight here and it needs some shaving off against this wall. You know, we've just managed, only, only just managed to get this out of the boat and it was really, really tight. We've had to move the canopy down. It was an absolute nightmare. So it would have been touch and go anyway, whether we could have fitted a solid piece of wood. So we've probably done the right thing. Anyway, these are going to fall off. Or obviously I could have undone all of these but we didn't want to do that if we didn't need to because I want to keep some of these screws in place and also put some bolts in. So I've marked half an inch all the way around the, uh, the areas that I haven't cut. I need to trim those down because it is a little bit tight and I don't want it to be a squeeze. And I think we'd have to do it for the front bit as well. For the sake. Oh. You know what, 
this is a lot of work for using plates. So you've seen me cut a clearance along the sides and the front because as it lifts up, it actually pushes it forward. It was opening, we just weren't happy with it. The other thing I wanted to test was to put the other strut there to see if it would be okay with the weight of the mattress. We've tested it and it's fine. I also decided to add some spare metal plates because I had the right size bolts for those. Now I wanted to put them in these other ones here but I'd need M5 bolts. They didn't come with any nuts so we've had to go down that route. I already had those anyway but something I'm hoping to get your advice on is we've crudely just screwed an old fender rope under this plate. Now obviously that creates a weakness with these screws here but we're able to lift it at the moment. I would like to drill some holes one either side and have some flat rope. If you can recommend a product or something where we can pull it out that would be fantastic. So it's time to get the mattress on and have a good kip. Let's give it a final try now everything's on. Yeah, now we've got more storage under there, but can I push it down on my own? Cross your fingers. Nice. Let me know in the comments if you do anything differently, but now I'm gonna have some rest. Ah.